Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I have the Pinnacle of Professional Inspection Camera, also known as Borescope, for a full in-depth review. So let's get started. As always, everything is time-coded for your ease to browse around various topics. If it's your first time on my channel, please consider subscribing as I do regular videos for various smart tech like this one, smartphone and smartwatch reviews, tech tutorials and much more. You'll find a dedicated playlist for smart tech reviews, be sure to check it out. And if you want, you can support my channel by becoming a member at a small monthly charge with all the perks that I'll offer. Click this join button to check out all the perks of becoming a member. Also check out some cool merch under the store tab and check out as well as subscribe to my second YouTube channel for mobile friendly short video content. So a company named Teslong reached out to me to review their NTS 300 professional inspection camera in exchange to my unbiased and honest opinion. So that being said, no monetary compensation was received or requested and no pre-approval rights were provided. In case if you want to get this Teslong professional inspection camera by the end of this video, check out the links in the description of this video. At this point in time, it is listed for 184 Canadian dollar on Amazon. Keep in mind, this is a professional grade inspection camera, not like the Inscam cell phone snake camera for which I have done a full review linked up in the card section which you can check it out once you're done watching this one. So for this video, I'll start with unboxing, a quick look around at the unit, its features, show you the recorded clips as well as pictures and wrap this video up with my final say. So it came in a solid box like this one. It looks big but it's not that heavy. There is a nice locking mechanism to keep the box locked. So inside the box you get the inspection camera itself placed with firm padding to protect it as well as accessories. Speaking of accessories, there is a USB type A to micro USB charging cable. I wish there was a USB type C charging port. They also have provided attachment which we will talk about later during the video. There is a 16.5 feet long semi rigid industrial waterproof cable perfect for inspecting pipes, HVAC, plumbing etc. This longer cable will help to extend to further places which won't be possible by those cell phone snake cameras which typically are less than 10 feet long. The cable really feels premium quality and it is waterproof so yes you can dip it inside water for inspection. One end of the cable has the attachment that goes into the unit. And the other end has two cameras. The primary camera is a 5.5 mm high definition camera with 30 to 100 mm depth of field and 70 degree of viewing angle with six high intensity LEDs for a bright view. There is a secondary side view camera with only one LED which is sufficiently bright and it's really good to have as a side view camera versus an angled mirror attachment like the one that I had with the Inscam cell phone borescope camera which are not that great and creates a lot of glare leaving you with an image that is very hard to discern. There is a user manual in multiple language which you don't care of as that is why you are here for. Now let me point out some specs like the operating temperature of this unit is listed to be 0 to 45 degrees Celsius. It has a 2600 milliamp hour lithium ion battery which from my testing is good enough for 5 to 6 hours. It has a certification of CE FCC ROHS. Now let's have a look at the unit itself. There is a 4.5 inch IPS high definition display with 854 by 480 pixel resolution. Let's peel off the screen protector. The unit itself is very ergonomic to handle and very lightweight and has a solid build quality. There is nothing on the right hand side. At the back there are some warnings and information with the button that triggers the flashlight on and off. Speaking of flashlight, it sure is a very powerful and bright flashlight. At the very bottom there is a hook to attach a strap and at the battery compartment which you don't need to access as it's a rechargeable battery unless you need to replace an obsolete battery. On the left hand side there is a button which is used to tilt the scope away from the display which is very handy for adjusting the angle without bending your wrist. I'm highly impressed with the ergonomics of handling this unit. At the back of the display there is a speaker and the reset button. 
Now there is a compartment on the left hand side of the display which houses a slot for a memory card and the micro USB charging port. Now this unit came with a 16 gigs of memory card which is very handy as there is no apparent internal storage. With that being said, before turning it on, let's hook up the camera cable first. This button on the cable is basically to switch from main camera to the side camera, but the button should align with this red dot on the main unit. Once you do that, the, these extensions will slide into the corresponding holes. Now a caution over here is you don't want to crank it up in a way that the extensions will bend. If that happens, the cable won't be able to connect. This is a room for improvement. However, once it's all aligned, you just have to tighten up the visor on the cable and it will be rock solid and will act as one unit. Now let's power on the device by this power button. The user interface launches instantaneously and you can see the primary camera which has a resolution of 720p and 1080p. Now these LED lights are also controllable by pressing this button located on the top of the power button. You can change the brightness from low, medium, high and even turn it off if, if you don't want it for any reason. But frankly these LEDs are very bright, better than the Inscam Borescope camera. Anyways you can switch to the side camera by pressing this button on the cable which again is a room of improvement. It would be helpful if we can switch directly from the center control panel. Speaking of control panel, let's talk about its function. So you can see the date and time on the bottom left of the display and on the top right corner you will see the memory card and the battery percentage. And on the top left corner it shows that currently we are in the camera or picture mode. Now to take a picture just click this button right here and instantly the picture will be saved on the memory card. To change to video mode you have to click this mode button and now you can see the icon on the top left corner changes to video recording mode. Now you can rotate the viewing orientation by pressing the up or down arrow key and to start recording a video you can press the capture button. Now while recording you can click the cable button to change the view from primary to side view camera which is great to have. Now to locally access your recording you have to press this mode button again to enter the gallery where you can view pictures and play videos along with the audio. To delete a picture or a video you can click on the setting which will display the details like name, resolution, size, timestamp and here is where you get the option to either delete one or delete all recording. Now another room for improvement will be a gallery view with thumbnails as if you have a lot of images or recordings you have to press the up or down arrow key multiple times to access the file versus if you have a thumbnail gallery view you can access a particular file with just few clicks. Anyways that's about it. Let me take you to the settings options of camera and video. So when you press the setting button on camera, you'll access camera settings like resolution which you can toggle between 1080 or 720. I personally will go with the 1080. Then you can select to have a timestamp. You can obviously adjust time and date by clicking on the time. You can also change language which they have a lot of options to choose from. Format the memory card directly from the device which is very handy and lastly reset the Teslong inspection camera. Now you can also access video recorder settings which are identical to the camera settings. Now the video recording is in .avi format and the image format is .jpeg. To transfer these files on your computer or your phone you have to physically remove the memory card and transfer on the recipient device so my laptop does not have a memory card reader so I had to get a memory card reader to access these files on my laptop which I am sure will be the case with most of the modern days laptop which lacks a memory card reader so keep that in mind. I wish they could have included some sort of wireless transfer options again another room for improvement. The other thing that I noticed is during a video recording I'm not able to adjust the brightness of the LED lights. I'm not sure if it's just my unit but it would be certainly nice to have. 
Now before I show you sample recordings, let me quickly talk about the attachment accessories. Now right off the back, the primary camera has threads on it for accessory attachment which are protected by a cover. So you have to remove it to attach any accessories. So they have provided two attachment. This is a magnetic attachment used to lift up keys or small object. Keep in mind it is not a strong magnet so you can't lift heavy things. But it can certainly be helpful to fish out your keys from duct or any metallic object. The second one is a hook attachment which unfortunately I have broken it. It's my bad not to blame them as I was trying to fish out the flow register which my kids threw it down the duct. So try not to lift heavy things with the hook or else it might break as mine did. But the attachment are certainly a cherry on top. So with all that being said, let's play some video clips and show you some images so you can see it for yourself. Okay, so I want to have a side view to look inside that duck. So I'm going to switch the camera over to the side view once we reach there. And let's switch. So there you go. We can have a clear view. Okay, so this duck bends twice. Let's go all the way at the end of this duck and use the side camera or side view camera to have a look inside. So we are almost about at the end and here is where the duct is bending. So let's change the view to side view. And there you have it. Let's see if we can use this as a macro camera. Being this close the image is still not distorted and the camera is not losing its focus yet that's substantially close as you can see the focal length of this camera is pretty awesome now finally here is my final verdict about the Teslon professional inspection camera this is certainly a solid industrial camera I'm sure if you are a professional you will benefit from this investment the build quality is great with strong waterproof semi-rigid cable with which you can reach hard to access spot and get a good quality picture and video recording. The ergonomics of handling this device are exceptional. I can say that you will not strain your wrist if you were to use this for extended period of time. The built-in flashlight is very bright and so does the LED lights of the camera. And it is again appreciable to have a side view camera with its own LED flashlight. The image quality and the video quality is far better than my Inscam Borescope camera and you can easily make out what you're looking for. So overall this is a very good inspection camera but there are few improvements in my opinion that the manufacturer can implement to make this inspection camera even superior. Keep in mind these are absolutely not a deal breaker for me as this Borescope is very versatile but having these will make it exceptional. Like the button to switch from primary to side view camera can be along with the center control versus on the cable. It would be certainly nice to have a USB type C charging port versus a micro USB port. The built in media player or gallery can have thumbnails to browse around as it will take less clicks to reach the desired file if it was a thumbnail gallery. There should be an option to have the video file saved as mp4 format versus the avi format for versatility. The frame rate of the camera can be improved with the image sharpness. Finally having an option to wirelessly transfer files from the inspection camera to your phone or laptop as with the modern day laptops you don't have a memory card reader to transfer files. Even despite of all the above mentioned suggestions it is still a good product to be recommended. Either way let me know in the comments down below what are your thoughts about this product. With that being said I really hope you found this video helpful. If you did then please give this video a thumbs up. It really means a lot. Also follow me on the social media network for early preview to upcoming videos and free giveaways. Links are in the description of all my videos. Thanks so much for watching and take care. I'll catch you guys in the next one.